Hi, I'm Christine Crooks, and I'm here today to show you a few exercises on the reformer using the spine fitter. So I'm gonna place this down in the middle of the carriage, and I wanna make sure that it's on the headrest because my head will be rested on the spine fitter. So once you have that down the center, take a seat on the end, try to keep it in the middle of the carriage. Roll yourself down. And take a moment just to make sure you feel centered and supported on the spine fitter. This is one of those pieces, kind of similar to the Pilates arc, where you want to make sure that positioning is key for the enjoyment of the exercise, really. You don't want to feel any strain or struggle in this. So head is supported, pelvis is supported, and then take your time with one strap at a time to put these on your feet. I want you to just bring your feet up to the foot bar. I'm actually gonna hold on to the shoulder block. Because we're on a slightly elevated surface, I want you to hold on with one hand, place the strap on one foot, put a little bit of tension into that rope, and then switch hands. So now the opposite hand is holding the shoulder block or carriage as you get the other foot on, or the other strap on the foot. Arms are down by your sides. <sighs> okay, so we feel that just gentle pressure in the pelvis, going through the mid and upper back, and then the back of the head. Now let's start off just with a few frogs. So we're pressing the legs out to that diagonal and then fold in. Trying not to let the pelvis rock here. So just like we would on the reformer if we were flat, we wanna find that lumbopelvic stability, but we're getting the bonus of that pressure and tension release from the spine fitter. So just one more. Press the frog out. Now, parallel the legs, reaching the legs up towards vertical, not letting the tail curl up off of the spine fitter yet, and then down to 45. And float up and down. Just hinging at the hips a few times, stretching those hamstrings out, connecting into that abdominal work and abdominal support. Now, V position with the legs, openings opening the legs to the sides, and then exhale, zip to the midline. So with each movement, taking your body weight in slightly different angles, you'll notice any kind of wobble on the spine fitter gives you a bit more work in that dynamic stability of the pelvis and spine in this supine position. Good, now just do a couple of circles, get that full, circumduction in the hips. Oh, this is where you really start to feel imbalances in those obliques and those oblique slings. Lift and around. Let's reverse those circles now. Open up to 90 and down. And I'm keeping a slight external rotation. You can do these circles in parallel if you like. And one more. Now come down to your frog position again and let's go into short spine. So if in doing those last few exercises you found yourself kind of inching up or maybe the spine fitter adjusted underneath you some, readjust your spine so you know you're still supported, head and sacrum. And then from our frog position, tailbone reaching down, we press out to that extension at 45. Start to lift the legs and going into short spine, I want you to feel first the tailbone reaching down for this long stretch in the hamstrings. I know there's different versions of short spine, but let's try this one today. So we're trying to reach that stopper, lengthening, 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 and then arms are connected to the carriage as you peel the spine up. Notice the pressure should stop at the upper back, not on the head and neck. Bend your knees to that diamond shape. Now, I want you to roll down holding that angle of the knee. So we're not extending the legs on this first version. The reason for that is that pressure deepens in the fascia and in the muscles along the spine as you roll down and it feels amazing. So let's do two more like that. Extend the legs. First, we hinge at the hips as far down towards the stopper, then peeling up, making sure we don't put pressure on that cervical spine, then bend your knees and roll your spine down, oh, releasing the tail at the bottom. One more like that. Hinge the hips, 
and peeling up. Use that exhale. Get that suspension in the spine length. Bend your knees, rolling down. Now one more time. This time we'll take a slightly different roll down out of short spine. Hinge the hips, peeling up. Now from here, bending those knees, keep the legs where they are and roll the spine down. So we're maintaining tension in the ropes, but we're not pulling the straps yet. All the way down, hamstring stretch, then bend your knees and pull through. Let's do one more, just to make sure we get that one. Hinge, and rolling up. And bend. Keep the legs there. Keep the feet exactly where they are as you roll the spine down onto the sp spine fitter. And then bend and press through. Now again, carefully to get out of this, I want you to anchor with one arm. Let's say left arm stays down as we take the left foot out of the loop and then find the foot bar. Good. Now set that on the hook behind you, switch. And then using your arms, you can step your feet, keep them on the bar, or I'm gonna step them down underneath the foot bar on the extended platform. Deep breath in, exhale, start to roll up, peel the head, shoulders, mid spine. If you need a little help, I do. Oh, press yourself up to a seated position. Okay, thanks for joining me in this Balanced Body video.